On the court, Mike Hansen is all business. But the UofL men's basketball coach is wearing his emotions on his face, literally. I started growing this beard when he went into the hospital and I uh, said I'll shave it when he gets out. But it's also every day I look in the mirror and I think of him. In early July, the Pronghorns were rocked as their teammate, Brent Watkins, was hospitalized after a single car crash in Montana. For like the first month, it was, it was something we were trying to process. It was hard to believe. In the months that have followed, Watkins has come out of a medically induced coma and been transferred back to his California home, where he's slowly recovering from a serious brain injury in a rehab facility. There's a long road ahead, but those who have visited him are optimistic. He definitely knew we were there and we made jokes with him about, about the team and everything. He laughed and it, and it was really a cool experience to be able to see his improvement in the short time. Just starting to talk, uh, one word, sentences, those kind of things, uh, but definitely still him. But with the new season looming, the horns need to balance their emotions. We probably haven't taken the time that we need to to really process it and talk about it and just get it out. Instead, their healing is coming on the court, where the real-life struggles of their teammate have put their position into perspective. They really appreciate that he would give anything right now to trade spots with them, and that they need to appreciate how lucky they are to be playing basketball and, and to be getting an education. Friday, the Horns will pour all their emotions into one single game. It's just an exhibition contest, but it means so much more. It's a fundraiser to help Watkins and his family and is also a chance to play the game they and Brent love in honor of their friend. It's going to be awesome as a team to be able to, in one game, put together our emotions and play for Brent. Like this, game, this literal game is going to be for Brent. Paul Kingsmith, Global News.